This video tutorial is brought to you by LucaVisualEffects.com. They make some awesome third-party plugins and alpha transitions for Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express, Motion, and After Effects. These are just a few of their cool effects. Also, if you order anything from their website, email them back with the code FINALCUTKINGFLARE and you'll receive two free flares for your next video. So check out LucaVisualEffects.com. Okay, so I want to show you the effect we're going to be doing here. And so you can see it's basically a text element with my hand wiping across and making it come into the scene and then interact with me as I pull it up and then back down to the bottom of the screen. It's a pretty simple, it just involves a mask and some keyframing frame by frame. So let me show you what to do. We're going to line up our footage right here when my hand opens up right there. It's about the 20 second frame when you got your footage in here. Go ahead and type in Fundamental Final Cut Pro 7. Now I'm going to open up the size. What am I looking at? 104. I'm going to actually vertically pull this up. And then pull it this way to the left. Now we just need to make sure as we come through that it doesn't cross this line in the first frame as long as the words are on the left side of my hand. And then if we have room on the end, if we have room on the end here, good. So as long as we have space here and space before this. So go ahead, Command 4 opens the layers, and we're going to go add a new group, drag the text in there, and we're actually going to mask this text out. So I'm going to scroll over here, and we're going to begin our mask. Three points, really simple. Simple as key. And then Bam. That's actually four. I'm going to double click and delete one of these points. Now we're going to add a mask feather and go ahead back to your text and you're going to see it starts to begin to be seen through because the feather's pretty good. It's on 34. But we're going to be ready to keyframe here as we record and move in frame by frame. Turn, hit N to turn off the snapping. That's always annoying. And you're going to see my hand has a little motion blur here. and So we're just going to match that with the feather and that's your job. You can double click and arrange these points. And keyframing is just adding. And you're going to see we're actually running out of space. So, what I need to do is go ahead and shift and select all of this and move it back. And that doesn't affect anything we've done before. It's recording a new frame every time. So, if we go back and adjust something we don't like, but this is looking good. Okay, so now what we need to do is actually animate the group. And what we're going to do is go to the Inspector tab, the Properties tab, and we're going to add a keyframe to the position. We're still recording. And we're going to adjust it. Actually, it's a little too early for keyframe. Okay, so right here, when I start to clinch, let's add a keyframe. And just keep it between my fingers. Center it between the fingers. And you're going to see that the effect is going to be pretty cool. So it does work best. It, a lot of people are going to want to go and keyframe just from the beginning point to the end point, but if you keyframe each frame it looks a lot better. Now continue with my hand coming up a little bit and it adds a little bounce. Makes it a little more realistic. Okay, there was a small jitter there that I didn't like right there. And So what we can do is adjust that jitter. What happened was it accidentally went right there too far to the right okay so now it's good like that so let's play it all the way through you can go frame by frame too to check anything okay and there is the effect now let's go ahead and change the text select it and we're gonna add a green it's good now add a filter to that text part of my many third-party filters here go to stylize come down to extrude and you're gonna see it adds a 3D look it's actually not it's fake it's just optical illusion here pull down the distance to about 17 angle is 15 degrees and we can change this actual extrude color not in the extrude filter but in the text so go to style go down to outline you're gonna see it turns red and we're gonna to go to green then pull it down so it's a darker green 
Now we can double check everything, make sure it looks good, nothing's peeking out too early. As long as you mask frame by frame, then it's going to look good. So there is the fundamental masking effect. It's just a mask with the text element, and you can do that for all kinds of different variations. And I'd love to see them. Send me a link, and I'd love to see your projects and see what you do with this effect. This video tutorial was brought to you by LucaVisualEffects.com. They make some awesome third-party plugins and alpha transitions for Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express, Motion, and After Effects. These are just a few of their cool effects. Also, if you order anything from their website, email them back with the code FINALCUTKINGFLARE and you'll receive two free flares for your next video. So check out LucaVisualEffects.com.